Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mo. So happy to be here with you guys today. I am still in Finland. That's why we got this little janky setup going on in the hotel. Still got to get out videos for you guys, though. Obviously, I'm going to be back home um, in the States in about eight days or so. I'm hanging out here for a tournament coming up um, in a couple of days. So, super excited about that. But... Because of that tournament, I've been trying out a whole bunch of new decks. Um, as you guys know, I am in, in the light. Um, we are the second clan right now in the world uh, with only 48 people. So if we had two more uh, big people join, then we'd probably be up there in the number one spot. But um, a bunch of people in this clan are using uh, this one deck that I've got rolling right here, guys. Very, very cheap P.E.K.K.A. Prince deck. Um, it works really, really well. I've been crushing it with it. We're going to show you guys two replays here. And then we're going to jump into a live attack with it, okay? So let's go ahead. Um, we're just going to go straight into it because there's no reason for me to um, uh, not show the log. Because as you guys can see right here, look at this, guys. Uh, that's the first one I lost right there. Um, and that's not even with this strategy. So once I started using this cheaper one, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight victories, guys. A bunch of them being three O's. Holy crap, I didn't even realize we had that many three O victories. Let's go ahead and watch a couple of these because as you guys can see, we beat two mortar decks with it. Let's go ahead and watch this one right here um, against this guy uh, in uh, ilby.com. I think that's like a Chinese YouTuber or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but the way that you play this deck, obviously you got to play slow, um, relatively. It looks like he's using the same deck as me from the start, but he's got that mortar in there. Maybe he's trying a different tactic to where he doesn't build up the typical mortar deck, so people aren't really expecting it. But look at this little trap I do right there for the, uh, Ice Wizard to make sure that he stays in the back. And then we're going to go ahead and drop off our princess right here in the middle. She's going to take out that princess on the right side. And then we're going to crush it over here on the left side. He's going to drop off a freeze. We're going to go ahead and drop off a couple of one elixir skeletons to get in there and do a little uh, distraction act as that freeze runs off. And we take him out. We got two ice wizards. And we've got our prince over here um, doing some serious work. Uh, but sadly, I just said prince, our princess um, over here. Our P.E.K.K.A.'s down. Uh, Princess is about to be down as well, but that was a fairly good push guys We stopped his and we were able to get in there and get 1741 damage done to everything He's gonna go ahead and try and push right here. We're gonna drop off both of our princes do a little dance um, And uh, take a little blood and then head up there to that tower as you can see What is he gonna drop off boom the mortar? So that's the first time that I knew that he had the mortar We take it out and I believe we get his tower down right here as well. It's down to one health, and then we take it out with the princess. Well played. Thank you very much, Mr. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, so we're doing good there, and at this point, he's given up. He's officially given up. He's like, I have a mortar deck. If I don't get that down, I'm done. So we're just going to drop off a final push here and end up taking him out. Guys, sometimes I'll do that too if someone's just taking everything is like hey well played you definitely beat me let's go ahead and just finish this thing so i can jump into another match um he troll freezes right there and i'm gonna troll freeze back right down here at the bottom of my tower as we take him out what does that show you not to use the freaking mortar um so there's win number one guys a really really good win right there against the mortar let's go ahead and actually just show you guys uh, the other mortar deck right here where this guy actually tries to play it. This one was a lot closer. This one was a lot harder um, to, uh, to work with. And the sad thing to me is that like there are some level 11s not using it that are way higher. There's some level 11s up at like level 5 not using the mortar, so I just don't understand it. But this right here is a great distraction for the mortar, guys. I never thought of doing this. Um, obviously, I didn't know the mortar was coming, but if you drop off those skeletons and you get them to split up, that mortar is going to focus on all that stuff until it goes down. And now we're going to freeze it right there before it starts working. Um, at this point in time, I was just freaking annoyed. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of a wow. Drop off this ice wizard. And again, our goal here, guys, is just to get that mortar down. And we're going to go ahead and arrow right here. And I miss a bunch of it, but we are able to take out the mortar. And just take out or just receive a little bit of damage right there um, from that. Uh, from those minions so I'm feeling good right now he's gonna go ahead and drop that off in the middle to keep anything from pushing to his tower uh, and then he's got to cycle back through to get that mortar down because that's the only way that he knows how to do damage 
So, um, we're gonna go ahead, drop off our P.E.K.K.A. back here in the back, and we're gonna think about a double lane push, okay? So, um, we're gonna drop it right there a little bit higher up, so that in case he does drop down the mortar, we'll be fine. He's gonna go ahead, drop off his princess over there on that right side, and <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and uh, drop off our Dark Prince on the left because of what? Because of those Barbarians and uh, we want to take them out. So we're going to go ahead. I wanted to freeze there, but I ended up not freezing. All of that madness is going to go down um, and these Barbarians are still alive over here, but watch this. We're going to go ahead and drop off this Prince uh, to distract and then we are going to drop off a Ice Wizard over here. And we're going to get off one and two shots on that tower, which is exactly what we wanted. And we'll go ahead and arrow all these minions right here as well. And uh, we're doing good. So we're defending, we're working well, but you got to be careful. you got to be freaking careful against these mortar decks. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not feeling too good over here. Um, so we've got our Dark Prince in here on these Barbarians, and what are we going to do now? We go ahead and take out that princess and get a little bit of a push going. He's thinking to himself, what in the world am I supposed to do? I don't know how to do what he's doing. We're going to go ahead and freeze, take that out. He's going to drop off a princess for some reason, not too sure why. Get up in here, one and two, and we are going to drop off our P.E.K.K.A. over here on the right side. And we're going to go ahead and arrow right over here. He's going to drop off his mortar. We're going to drop off some one. I thought we were going to drop off one of the skeletons, but we dropped them off right in there. And we're going to go ahead and take out that mortar and uh, take out this, uh, this, take out the mortar, take out the princess, took out the inferno tower, getting in here on the tower. Um, he's got a lot of stuff down here now, and uh, our princess is shooting the tower, thankfully, so that's going to give us a good amount of damage. Uh, we can go ahead and wait for this, and arrow right there. We know that he's struggling just a little bit. He's got to get his mortar down, guys. He's freaking out. He's going to drop his mortar off over there. We're just going to push over here on the left because we know it's going to target. Take out that Inferno Tower super quick. All that it does is take out our shield. And we're going to go ahead, head up in here, <clears throat> do a little bit of damage. Give him a thumbs up and say thank you for using the mortar. I very much so appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead, jump into a live attack, guys. Again, we haven't lost with this yet, so hopefully this will not be the first of our losses with this new deck of ours. Um, but I'll go ahead and cut here and then be back with you guys in just a couple seconds, okay? Oh, never mind. I lied. We're playing. Ooh, somebody at 4,300. Level 11. I feel like he might be using, um, I feel like he might be using a mortar from where he's at. But let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Uh, yep, so he's starting to build up his elixir, guys. And we'll go ahead and do, uh, this and trap her back there for just a second as he arrows everything. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, and now we'll go ahead and drop off this guy, and let's go ahead and drop off some more extra skeletons just in case. Nope, okay, so I thought he might have the Inferno in there. He did not have the Inferno, and watch this. We're going to go ahead and go, yeah, freeze that. Um, get that Ice Wizard up in there. He's targeting the wrong thing right now. Princess needs to take them out, um, and we need that P.E.K.K.A. to take out that cannon. He's just getting distracted right now. He's going to go ahead and arrow our Princess, and I'm not too upset with that, guys. We took out... Uh, a good amount of stuff right there, and we'll go ahead and take out this musketeer as well uh, with our dark prince. And then now we're gonna go ahead and try and let our um, elixir recap. So, ooh, look at that! There we go. Get off a couple shots right there. And he, and he had to use some troops that were splash damage, so that was perfect for us. That's exactly what we want. Um, let's go ahead and drop off an ice wizard back here, and we're gonna surround this. Oh gosh, he's got a golem. Alright, so here we go. We gotta do this, drop this off, and we gotta wait for that musketeer to get up in the front and go ahead, drop off these skeletons. Hopefully they will go after the musketeer. Nice, they are going after the musketeer. Oh, did they stop? They stopped going after her. No! Nope! Okay, alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. So we're gonna follow this up with a push um, with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Prince, guys. And he is going to drop off a cannon. I knew that he would. Go ahead and drop off our Princess just in case he tries to distract, just like that. Princess is gonna help take that out. And uh, we got to get up. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So now we know he has a golem. We need we need to get a double prince rush on an opposing side, guys. We know which side he's going to be pushing on. Um, so we'll go ahead and drop off uh, our ice wizard right here. And we'll drop off our P.E.K.K.A. right here. And again, we know what he's pushing with on this side, guys. And we're going to go with a double prince rush on the right side of the map. Too bad. 
Uh, so sad. And right here, that's what we're doing. We're rushing up in here. We're going to go ahead and drop off our princess. Uh, see if we can get rid of some of this stuff, some of this madness that's going on. The P.E.K.K.A.'s doing work for us. Uh, oh, the Dark Prince got taken out right there at the last second. Go ahead, drop this off. He's going to drop off another golem. If we can get in there to this tower, come on, cannon. No. No. Yes, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Take it out, come on. Come on, Ice Wizard, take that out. Ice Wizard, take it out. Oh, we're coming down to the last couple seconds here, guys. We got to get this princess focused over here um, on everything that's going on. That tower is super low right now. We've got to get over to that tower, guys. We're going to go ahead and arrow it. Just be crazy. Yes, Prince is going in. Come on, Prince. No, yes, get it, Prince, 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 Prince. Yes. <laughs> Victory for us. Well played. That's a big win, guys. That is a big win. 37 trophies pushing up right there. 4287. That is our new highest record. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Absolutely killing it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. I will see y'all in the next episode. All right. Peace.